Hi, my name is John. Um, I this is part two of the law questions. I created four questions uh, on the fly for you guys. Um, this is a level five question. A little bit more difficult. The reason why it's a little bit more difficult is due to the fact that there's a lot of algebraic manipulations when you're going to calculus A, B, or B, C next year. You're going to have uh, lots of algebraic manipulations. You're going, to, you're going to have to use all of your wits, all of the things that you've learned, plus more to try to solve more difficult calculus problems. So let's get started. I have a question. Uh, log base 3 of x plus the log base 4 of x is equal to 5. And of course, it's, since it's an equation, I want you to figure out what the value of x is. Uh, level 5 question. So if you kind of know how to get started, just spend about two or three minutes trying to figure out how would you, you would do this. I'll give you a hint before you start. You have a different log base, base 3 and base 4 this time, so you can't put it into a single log. Okay. Give you about a couple of seconds to try to um, pause your camera. I mean, not pause your camera, pause your uh, play button, and then try to see if you can figure it out. Anyways, let's get started. So, the problem with this is uh, you have log base 3 and log base 4, so we have to uh, change, use the change of base formula. I'm going to use natural log this time, natural log of x divided by the natural log of 3. That's how we change it from a single log, uh, from a different base, th base 3 to base e. We do the same thing, natural log of x over the natural log of 4, and that's equal to 5. And at this stage, uh, we're trying to figure out a uh, bust that fraction if you want. I like to use BTF for short, plus that fraction. It's my little spiel. Uh, I coined it myself, bust that fraction instead of fraction busters. Everybody calls it fraction busters. We're going to bust that fraction. We're going to multiply that by the natural log of 3 times the natural log of 4. When we multiply the left side by the natural log of 3 times the natural log of 4, the natural log of 3 cancels. You're going to end up with natural log of 4 times the natural log of x plus the natural log of 4 cancels with this second term. So you're going to have natural log of 3 times the natural log of x is equal to, on the right side, 5 times the natural log of 3 times the natural log of 4. So we busted that fraction. I don't like dealing with fractions, neither do most students. Uh, so we're going to we set it up really nice and easy. At this stage, on the left side, we're trying to figure out what x is. You can't take the x out of the natural log. So we're going to factor it. That's your second hint, okay? Factor out natural log of x, and then what do you get on the um, first term? You get natural log of 4 plus the natural log of 3, and on the right side, ditto. Of course, at this stage, we're going to divide it by that right there. So the natural log of x is equal to 5 times the natural log of 3 times the natural log of 4 all over natural log of 4 plus the natural log of 3. At this stage, you're trying to solve for x, and I gave you a little bit of a hint on the first uh, problem. It was either the first problem or the second problem. I believe it was the second problem. To solve for x, you could have changed this into a uh, exponential form if you wanted, but it's a little bit rather cumbersome slash difficult. So what we're going to do is raise it to the e power, raise it to the e power e to the natural log of x, these are inverse operation, you end up with left x on the right side, uh, on the left side, you cannot simplify this any further, um, there's just no way to simplify that, so that's your final answer. Like I said, it was a little bit difficult because you have to change the basis uh, to expand this out, and then the next stage is uh, bust that fraction. That's the second hardest part. And of course, you're going to factor out natural log of x. And then you have to use all of your wits to get the x by itself. You're going to have to exponentialize it to base e. Okay. Hopefully, it helped you guys. Um, try to do this by yourself again. Okay. It should be helpful. The second question, or the fourth question that I have is, excuse me is uh, 3 to the 2x minus 2 power equals 2 to dx power and I want the value of x. This is the level 4 I believe. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's not too difficult per se but still you know uh, you have a different base this time and you try to figure out what the value of x is. Um, 
by the way, on the previous problem right over here, uh, you can work it out and then use your calculator, but this is CRF, calculate, calculator ready form, okay? So, how do we deal with problem number four? 3 to the 2x minus 2 power is equal to 2 to the x. Since the base is different, we're going to have to natural log the left side and the right side first. Or we can common log it. It really doesn't matter if you common log it or uh, natural log it. I like to deal with natural logs. It's a little bit easier writing because I only have two letters to write instead of three letters. Yes, most uh, mathematicians are lazy. They want to find the shortest distance between two points. It's a straight line segment. If I natural log the left side, natural log of 3 to the 2x minus 2 is equal to natural log of 2 to the x. And from this stage, the beauty of logs is that the exponent can finally come down to the base right over here. So you have parentheses 2x minus 2 times the natural log of 3 is equal to x times the natural log of 2. So what do we do from here? Um, my cat's getting into the candy. She likes candy. Uh, anyways, uh, we, we're going to have to distribute this because you have an x right here. You have 2x right here. So you want to distribute these out first. 2x times the natural log of 3 minus 2 natural log of 3 is equal to x times natural log of 2. And then you want to bring this term to the left side. You want to bring this term to the right side. I'm going to do a one shot for you. I'm going to subtract natural x times natural log of 2. I'm going to add 2 times natural log of 3. So writing it out, I get 2x natural log of 3 minus x natural log of 2 is equal to 2 natural log of 3. So there we have it so far. 2 times 2x times natural log of 3 minus x times natural log of 2 is equal to 2 times natural log of 3. At this stage, I'm going to distribute this out. No, not distribute. Um, how do we solve for x right here? Of course, we're going to have to factor it. Factor out the x, you get 2 natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of 9. You notice I brought that up to the power again, that uh, 3 squared is, of course, is 9. I'm going to bring this up again as well. Uh, natural log of 3 to the second power, which is 9, minus natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of 9. Of course, I'm going to put this as a single log. It'll be natural log of 9 over 2 is equal to natural log of 9. And of course, solving for x, you get natural log of 9 over natural, no, natural log of 9 halves. It's almost in calculator-ready calculator form. I can change that to a single log again. x is equal to log base uh, 9 halves, which is 4.5 of 9. And that's your final answer. I'm going to actually check my work with this using calculator. I haven't done it yet. Uh, most TI, I would definitely use this calculator right over here. It's a TI-84 Plus uh, Silver Edition. It has the newest uh, one, comes with the log base right over here. Uh, if you go into the math button right over here, on the left uh, front, I mean, sorry, first column, third row, okay? And I'm going to go log base 4.5 of 9. I'm going to get approximately... 1.46 and I'm going to plug it into the original equation to see if it actually works so 3 exponent 2 times our answer there it is that's our answer and then minus 2 I know you can't kind of see this very well but uh, I that's why I'm saying it as I'm going should be approximately 2.75 on the right side, if I go 2 exponent 1.46 as well, I should get approximately the same answer. 2.75, 2.75, we're off down to the 10th, 100,000th decimal. So therefore, it's a pretty good approximation. We checked it, and um, it worked. So... Like I said before, let's look at uh, problem number three. 
the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, change into different logs uh, using the change of base formula on the uh, first term, the second term, and then we're going to bust that fraction in so that we get a real nice simple equation to work, almost simple equation. Okay. The second part is um, we got to bring that uh, 2x minus 2 and the base power, I'm sorry, the exponent x right there down. The only way we can do that is natural log or log base 10 to both sides. Either way, um, if you use common log, you still get approximately the same answer. Not approximately. You will get the same answer whether you do it uh, common log or natural log. Good luck on your test and uh, happy hunting.